welcome back to hobby potter weekly uh, if this is your first time coming i just want to remind everyone when i make videos it's my hobby potter journey it's like my own personal video log of what's happening in my studio in my i call it my hobby potter life and i have to call it a hobby so that it remains fun for me uh, you may see clay work you may not see clay work and this week you won't see any clay work you'll see a kiln opening and a little bit of glazing because this week I spent most of my time coming up with a display oh, for the mod shop that'll be coming up on Saturday. Took me a long time. I tried to videotape that, but it was really uneventful. I spent a lot of time sitting and thinking and moving this and moving that, and I thought it would just bore you to tears. So uh, I show the kiln opening, and in that kiln opening, I um, used the glass beads inside the ceramic dishes and had an issue. I'll share that with you too. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you at the end with what's coming up after that. It is 5.40 p.m. and I just started the kiln, 65 degrees in here. I'll let me crack it open real quick and show you how the setup is. I know it's running, but it's just started, so it's not a big deal. I'm refiring that one because there was a little chip on there, so I add a little more glaze. But here are the pieces, and they should be done by tomorrow night. So excited!
um, a brainstorm on while I was walking through um, my lumber department. But what this is, is a, it was a 10 foot long end cap for lattice fencing. You know, the, the wood lattice that you find in, you know, just lattice. What this is, is a cap that the lattice would fit into and the groove is already inside. It's just like very smooth, really nice looking. And I realized I could actually set little dishes or just little things inside there. Now they are kind of light. So I was thinking I would put some weights on the bottom and what I was planning to do with these was to put those little glass dishes, but I'm going to share with you what happened to those and why they're not coming with me on this trip. Okay, out of heartbreak comes incredible education. What these are is are the beads that I melted inside these little dishes crackled and they look beautiful you know I mean really they look great but if you'll notice see there's, there's a little white spot right here and this one has it quite a bit and every single one actually has it in a small degree or a large degree now what watch what this is this is this did not happen they came out looking beautiful I came in the next day and they had this white residue on them I'm getting my finger wet and it wipes off so I went to my Clay Buddies message board and they said that what this is is a residue that comes from the clay. It's like salts from the clay seeping through. The challenge is it will never stop. It's not, I mean, I wiped it off right now, but, you know, tomorrow it'll be back again and they will not look as lovely. So, and it's also not safe. The other educational thing I learned was people are very adamant, ceramics, uh, ceramicists are very adamant about using glass and ceramic together, 100% decorative. Do not put a food item inside anything that has crackled glass. If you see any ceramic that is crackled, it is not food safe, just bottom line. If you think about it, if you see the cracks here, there is nothing stopping it from, from absorbing whatever you put in it and there even could be little bits of glass in that are coming to the surface if I ran my finger over this and didn't know I could end up having a cut on my finger and even not knowing where it came from it's really important that that people understand when you buy something crackled it's always decorative so just as a side note this is what the purpose of these were for I was gonna set these in them these cute little things and this was my idea I thought it was an awesome idea, and I'll use it later with maybe tiles or something. But anyway, it, it was a great idea. I'm not going to be able to do it, and these items aren't getting get to come with me to the mod shop. Well, I'm excited about mod shop this next weekend. It'll be, let me give you the info, it'll be November 26th from 5 to 9 p.m. downtown Modesto, California. Uh, on J Street. I'll be on the corner of 10th and J in the restaurant called Ralston's Goat. And I'm looking forward to it. It's my first time. I love first time anythings. You know, I kind of, I think that's why I like clay because every time you open the kiln, it's theoretically a first time because you almost don't know what the, the kiln will be doing unless you're doing, you know, production work and you've got it down to a science. It's all just kind of a Christmas surprise, right? You know, you open it up, <gasps> a present. But um, I'm, I'm real excited. Two more Hobby Potter Weekly videos, and then the series is over. And I'll share in my final video what I'm planning to do in 2017. I made these goals on my birthday, but I'll share them later. A week after that, I'll be making um, I'll be making some luminaries for a gallery show that I'm doing, so I'll finally get my fingers back in clay. Anyway, I'm just happy that I get to play with clay in my studio and share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoy the videos that I'm making and you keep enjoying your clay and your journey. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with a video on the Mod Shop. And after that, my final video with my fingers in clay, and that's just where I want to be. Thanks for watching.